another promise, a prayer of St. Jude. There is a raging confluence of rivers at the flattening of forks in the American River. Gold was found here 170 years ago. A whacking overnight rain fluffs the volume in the river, forcing itself high on the banks. Hundreds of lakes above the tree line preserve the water's sources. Now they are covered in snow, though it is June, beginning summer. Here the transcendence of God pours out, for from nothing came all this, expressing your distinctness from the universe and showing the high exaltation of your self-sufficiency. It is you gives life and breath and all things. From your quiet inner existence, the raucous universe unfolds. Do what we may, everything in this world, in spite of the error and sin of human beings, will necessarily serve to glorify you. We, the creatures, have been brought forth from nothing and cannot claim over you any rights we imagine to possess. In creation, we ourselves have glory, kings over the dominion. The artist formed an image according to his own vision. Your work was first in your heart, and your heart reflected in your work. Is not the moon reflection of the sun, and these very waters stare back at us? Our children are our copies, and the work of our hands comes from within. In the same way, we are small gods upon the earth, who by our lives do judge the earth, and henceforth planets, galaxies, and all things beyond. We are a smallness to put our arms around the complexities of Earth. Think what shall be the limitlessness of God's imagination, will, and power. We have small knowledge, but from you have a sufficiency to come to know you. In this, the confessions are correct. Our purpose here is to know, love, and serve you in this world and to be happy with you in the next. Two worlds, how little we know of this present one. The further world, also present, is veiled in dignity, very far from any containment of man. We are empty of the infinities of the eternities. Yet to those who believe this life is not away from us, even now, we believe because we are born anew, having no, no more role in this than in our natural birth. We were given to become the children of God, and so it was given, perhaps in an unexpected time. We are not merely subjects of the King or servants to our Master, but as children to our Father. Children enter only by birth, no other means. We stand under your peculiar protection, direction, and care being favored with liberty to access, of access to you and reasoning with you, your constituted heirs and joint inheritors with Christ of the heavenly inheritance. We constituted not merely by adoption, but made such also by fiat of rebirth, being born not of blood, as by descent from Father Abraham, not by flesh, no man can do this nor by the will of man through circumcision, baptism, or any other. No, but only of God, your spirit creates us anew, freshly gives us life in the world of the spirit. Born not of perishable seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God and by the spirit. When we were unborn children, we knew nothing of what our life was to be. In the world to come, we know even less than this. For the Jews were arrogant of being chosen, exclusively so, and built walls of religion about themselves. The promise of salvation was grounded not on our descent from Abraham, but on our spiritual regeneration, life afresh. Thus, Gentiles were equal to Jews in the favor of God. This they did not like, suffering many indignities for centuries for their separation from all others. In ancient history, in the time of Jesus up to Hitler, and even now, let us reverence your holiness. 
unadulterated by our wants and needs. You do have purposes of special favor for your people, even of old, but manifestly greater since Christ came upon the earth. And here is another promise, that where I am, you may be also. I will come again and receive you to myself. Do we know the way to you? I am the way, truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He who has seen me has seen the Father. I and the Father are one. We are asked to wait a little while longer, as from our childhood we awaited gifts. Jesus lives after death, so shall we. Let not our hearts be troubled. All which we ever hoped were possible is so, and more so. Beloved, now are we the children of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, yet with clear vision of the likeness of you, being already like you. There is another world. It is there we shall live with you in great happiness and blessing. Amen.